picked it up. Kane is there! And Harry Kane has tucked it in. Harry Kane, a world-class striker for Tottenham and England. Tottenham's number 10 and England's number 9 is one of the best goal scorers in the world. And recently I had an amazing opportunity to train at the Tottenham Hotspur training ground by Ledley King. An incredible video if you haven't seen already, make sure to go check it out. But that got me thinking, that was just one day of training. What would it be like to train like Harry Kane for a whole week? So in this video, you're gonna see myself being put to the test, trying to see what it's actually like to train like Harry Kane for a whole week. Now, quick disclaimer before the video starts, this is not 100% accurate at all, as obviously his dietary plan and his actual workout regime is, is not made out to the public. So basically what I have to base this off is the stuff that I learned on the day at Tottenham Hotspur, talking to the nutritionist, talking to Carlos, the fitness coach, and then also use clips that Harry Kane has posted himself on Instagram and YouTube to try and work out what kind of training drills he might be doing. And I need to apply that for the whole week to see what it's actually like to train like Harry Kane, or well, at least as close as possible. So before we start off the training and get into the week, I need to see what my body looks like beforehand and then also make a note of my weight just to have a comparison at the start and at the end of the week. So let's get into that right now. Right, so very quickly, um, this is not a chance for me to, to show off my body at all because as you can see, there is quite literally nothing to show off. But yeah, it's basically purely just a document what I look like beforehand to see if there's any change just within a week of trying to train like Harry Kane. Now on to how much I weigh. 10 stone, okay, 7.8. All right, we'll say that's, let's say that's 10.8, all right? 10 stone, eight. Cool, now I know what I weigh and what I look like beforehand. Let's get on into the training. Obviously, I'm supposed to be training like Harry Kane for the whole week, right? But as well as just training like him, I feel like I have to really become him. And we all know Harry Kane, he, he's a very suave guy, a very, very good professional. And I, I don't think he's ever had a hair wrong on his body. So you know what? We got the haircut, we got the trim, we're all good on that front. But yeah, I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see there, but looking a bit messy. So yeah, I think we need to, to sort that right out. And speaking of Harry's. So Harry's have very kindly sponsored this video, obviously very fitting given this is a video about Harry Kane. So they've sent me this trial set and it's actually coming very handy. We just got a weighted handle with a little textured rubber grip, a five blade razor cartridge, some foam and shave gel, a travel cover to protect the blades, when I'm on the move too, which obviously with the Spurs vlogs, hopefully when we get back to them in the stadiums, when I go abroad as well, that will become very, very useful for me. And honestly, the reason why I like Harry's a lot is because the blades themselves are obviously very high quality. But not only that, they support great causes too. They give 1% of their global sales to non-profit organizations that provide mental health care to men in need. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that mental health is something that I am trying to raise awareness for. But yeah, man, onto the actual product itself. You'll get everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. And not only that, you'll be helped support in my channel. Because if you start your subscription with a trial set, it is literally just $3.95. Let me just say that again. It is $3.95 if you use my link below in the description and you'll also receive a free shower gel. You guys will end up getting an amazing product for such a low price. So make sure to go check them out. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. This video couldn't be possible without them. And when I say high quality, this is what I mean. All right, we are back. And now look at this. Look, actually, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison so you guys can see from before. But I promise you, I'm not even just saying this. No, like, no word of a lie. This actually is so, so smooth. But yeah, I feel way, way better. I feel way more professional. I feel fit to wear the cane top. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out Harry's, the link will be in the description below. And now I think it's time to get on into some training. Let's go. So if you would have seen my video at the Tottenham Hotspur training ground, we had a crazy fitness session with Carlos, the head fitness coach at Spurs. So I decided to do the same exact routine pretty much, taking from all of his learnings and the routine that he used for the professional players at Spurs, because that's exactly what Harry would be going through. So I started off with 
a bit of dynamic stretching. Once we're done with some of that dynamic stretching and the hopping, we then start to move on to band work. And yeah, as you can see, it was a bit painful for me at this point. Next with the band that we did with Carlos was this weird like crab walk thing I did with the push up, which is a lot harder than it looks. And uh, yeah, then went on into some lunges while stretching too. And then some knee up squats, which can get very painful when you're not used to doing squats at all. And finally some hill climbers. And then finally onto the side plank, where obviously I had to lift my leg up and down both sides. And as you can see from here, this was really a struggle. And with this exercise, I always find it really difficult to keep my balance. And yeah, you could see a bit of frustration there of me hitting the ground. Penultimate one, and it's the worst one of them all. Bloody burpees. Let's do it. Yep, definitely the worst one of them all. And this one, this had to be a lot more explosive than the other parts. And we're slowly starting to go in towards more power workouts. The last thing I wanted to do before finishing up the exercise was a bit of ab workout and using a barbell, I think it is called, to kind of push oh, up and down and add that extra weight to make it that little bit more Ugh. difficult. Right, that's everything done. Sorry for this look, but that was a lot, a lot harder than I remember. To be honest with you, I think it's because I haven't got Carlos here for the, uh, the motivation. Well done, Jules. Yeah, that was really, really tough, especially because it's quite hot today. That's the morning session done. I need some food in me desperately and some shake. So uh, yeah, let's go on to lunch. Whole point of this is obviously if I want to be like Harry Kane, the guy's a lot bigger than I am, right? So I need to get a lot more protein in me so I can rebuild the muscle after, well, a crazy amounts of exercise I'm doing compared to normal. So, so while I was doing the exercise, my mum kindly made me a chicken and lentil soup. Now I'm both obviously really high in protein, um, but then I've also got a protein shake. But yeah, just basically trying to have as much protein and uh, yeah, onto the afternoon session. Right, so I'm here with Sam. He's gonna act as my, my goalkeeper for the training session. And of course, we're at Harringay Barra Football Club, um, my uncle's football club here on White Hart Lane. So not too far away from the Spurs Stadium, just down the road, probably about a 20 minute walk. But yeah, I think it's time for today's session. We're gonna be doing a shooting drill. I appreciate you for coming down, bro. Thanks for being my, my keeper for today. No worries. <laughs> we'll see what my standard of shooting is now, and then we can hopefully compare it in a week's time when this video is done. So yeah, I think let's get on into the drill. Now, obviously, I've shown you the clip from Harry Kane's Instagram. He has someone to feed it into him. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone for us. So I'm going to carry the ball forward through the cones. Middle two will be my defenders. I have to bring it out either side of the far ones and then shoot as soon as I'm in the box. So let's get cracking. Okay, high advantage. <laughs> okay, not too bad, but I need, I need to go to more to the corners. <sighs> My left foot is so weak. I have not got the right technique for it. Oh, what was that? That's more like it. That is more like it. That's better. That's a better left foot. Oh, my goodness. Can you him? All right, we got bottom corner sorted. We need more top now. That's a better finish. Come on. I like this ball. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do it on my left. Good save. Oh, I think I can appreciate how good Harry Kane is a lot more now because this drill, he just bangs every single one of them in. We got past you. I saw you running out there, Sam. I saw you running out. <laughs> okay. 
You see an improvement? It's going in, but it doesn't feel good enough. So my control ain't too bad. That's a lot better. Need proper corners. Right, come on, I want to aim for GoPro. I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna go left, shoot on the right. And that's it. That's it. And that's it. And that's it. We're gonna finish off today's shooting drill with a bit of penalties. I need to start learning how Kane does it. I think he likes to go for bottom corners a lot. Does a little bit of a run up and then swings in bottom corners. I'm gonna try and do that, try and perfect that today. Let's see what we can do. Good save. That's better. The only thing I criticised is it was mid-height. That like, makes it a bit easier for the keeper to save, but it was right in the corner, so. Oh, that was, that was so poor. That was such a poor penalty though. Kane would not be proud of that one. You know that meme of the cat? Where he's like bent like that. I feel like I need to be like that more. <laughs> See? I think that, that's definitely better. Or at least right in the corner. So even if the keeper does go that way, it, it, it can't get there, so. Ah, oh, that is the pen. That's the boy. That one's making the intro. Come on, come on. In a Harry Kane, what does he do? That's what he does. One more to put you out of your misery, and then we're done. I know I've got room for improvement because the consistency isn't there yet. Oh! Oh, uh, <laughs> about that one. Yeah, we weren't training there, we weren't training there. Definitely, definitely room for improvement. That was a very poor finish for me, but I'll take the one before that. The one before that was a banger. On to day two, let's go. Today's training session is a bit later than normal. My afternoon training session, is a lot later in the evening so i've shifted everything along a bit i'm now doing this after lunch but i'm also being joined by a couple of my mates from school as well because apparently they've been training too i'm just just privately just by themselves just wanted to get better at football so i said hey come join in the video we'll all train together so that's going to be today's session and uh, yeah it's going to be an intense one a lot of working out so uh let's get to it all right so we're geared up we're ready we're going to start off with some stretching then we'll do some off ball work then on ball work and then we're going to finish off with some like 2v2 shooting drills get the striker stuff going so yeah let's crack on with this training workout let's go Right, we've decided we're competing in the shuttle runs. Shuttle runs, right? Is that what we're starting with? Shuttle runs, yeah. Shuttle runs, all right. Okay, boys? I'll go first. Good luck. <laughs> I'll take it. This is a very, very quick draw. It's a competition between the four of us. Just try and get our awareness up. I've got to go sprint to bring my white cone, which is, say my first one's over there, to the middle. And then I've got to wait to see when my white cone appears and then go get that one. First to bring all four back to the middle wins. So let's get onto it. Third. Jordan came first, Julie second, the Rouge fourth. It's good for mental awareness, that one. Very good. Right, so after the competitions, we started to move on to more ladder work, which I haven't done for a long time, to be honest with you. But yeah, like I really enjoyed this session during the day because my mate has been doing this pretty much every single week. So he was pretty much leading the way and brought all of the equipment. So yeah, thank you, Julie, for that. Next up, we basically had to do these 90 degree turns and carry on around the square using our right foot first and then we had to swap over to our weak foot and do that as well. And then the next little move was passing between the cones using your partner to go around each one, first time touches, then actually dragging it across the cone and passing it back as well. Obviously this is all about control. And knowing Kane, he's not just a finisher. The guy has got brilliant hold up play. So I need to be able to control the ball and pass it back to maybe assist the wingers as well. The final drill before we move on to a little bit of more fun shooting 2v2 kind of situation. So let's go. With this draw, you have to sprint to one cone without the ball and then pick it up from your partner, drive it to the next cone and then pass it back. So it kind of worked in rotation like that. And we had to do that two, two times each. 
Although we were kind of supposed to sprint between the cones, I think a lot of us lost a lot of energy because by this point, we did a lot of training. So you can see that the movements were, were a lot slower and not no. necessarily in as control as it should be. I'm knackered. Time for a bit of fun now. All right, that session done. The camera ran out of battery, but LaRouche and I won our 2v2 match. I think we won like 5-2 or 5-3 in the end. Very close. Anyway, back home, time for some food before session later. Right, for this afternoon's session, we're gonna do something a little bit different. But what I'm doing instead is playing five aside for my training because, well, I've been invited to play. It's, it's like in training draws when you've got teams that do like 6v6, 5v5. They do it in football training all the time. So I think it'll be a good test for me to see how well I can do my shooting wise, how well I can hold up the ball. Everything that would help me become a better striker like Harry Kane yeah, let's get on to have some food and then on to five-a-side training. Okay, so done with dinner. Food was delicious. Lentils, chickpeas, sausages. Perfect for a full protein-filled meal. I'm going to head over to the five-a-side pitches now. And I'm going to try and remember to use the stuff I did yesterday in the training while well, in the shooting drills. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get to the five-a-side pitch. Let's see how many goals I can get and see how well I can do from a striker's perspective. This was my first chance. Obviously, picked the ball up in the middle. Tried to find a little gap, but was defended pretty well for my first effort here. And now picked the ball up on the left hand side and a nice little dink over to my teammate who tried to find me again i had a shot first time but luckily blocked by the goalkeeper here i'm in a bit more defensive position i'm looking to see where i could play the ball and look at that ball hold up hold up we need a replay of that that ball through I swear it was so beautiful. Look, right, now in a 3v1 situation, I pick up the ball on the right hand side and I think I just take way too long to have a shot here. Um, and it was obviously blocked there as well. Ali finds me out in some open space on the right hand side again and I play it into him for my first assist of the session. Now this one, you can obviously see a keeper mistake, an absolute blunder, passes it straight to me. I take it right, finish it bottom left. Now again, picking the ball up from deep, little ball roll here and there, find the spaces again once more, little step over, over to Nick, who almost scored yet again, man. Nick, what are you doing to me? Our team started to play a little bit better football. Ali found me brilliantly with that little ball. I play it back across to Nick, who actually finished it this time for my second assist of the session. Right, and now you can see my jumper's taken off. I mean business. I'm still waiting for a run from a teammate, but I see a gap open with my left foot and I managed to find the bottom left corner. Again, another shot I was pretty proud of myself because one, my left foot is extremely weak and two, I was able to wait to see for the gap and finish the chance that I had. Right, not to throw Nick under the bus again, but this is one where I just, I just love this ball. Look at this, bink, through ball, perfectly weighted pass, but Nick could not finish it yet again. He's, just, he's denied me, what, three amazing chances by now? Now onto one of my better assists for the day. I pick up the ball from the air, drag it down, do a little roulette spin and pass it off to my Tino who easily slots it home on the edge of the area. Definitely more Tong Yun Dombele than Harry Kane, but I'll take it. Now this next one was a bit of a fluke. Still managed to get the ball back from my teammates, but it was passed out wide who then passes it across to me and it was pretty much an easy slot home. But I hope you spotted the fact that I actually held up the ball, waited for there to be a space next to the keeper and slotted it into the bottom left. Pick the ball back up in the middle, goes to drive, easy gap on the left hand side, easy finish. Picks the ball up, waiting for an opponent to come in, passes off to Nick again, who finishes it for yet another assist of the session. Now Ali pays it across and it was just such an easy finish for my final goal of the session. Summary. That was a tough one. Don't know if it's the work from earlier. It's making me knackered. But that was really hard today. Now on to day three, pretty much midweek, and from all of the timetables that I've seen before for strikers and professional footballers, there tends to be a recovery day in between intense sessions. So I've had two intense sessions so far, two days in a row. Now it was time for a recovery day where a lot of players, and like Harry Kane has shown on his Instagram, a lot of them do a 20 minute cycle, which is what I did here. Yeah, I can tell that this is getting to me and this is, this is gonna be a tough challenge this week because that was just supposed to be the recovery cycle. So taking it easy, just making sure, still getting the flow so that I don't, like, don't end up with like muscle injuries when I do intense training like tomorrow. Either way, that's that done. And uh, 
uh, on to some more intense training tomorrow. So let's get on to it. Right, so day four, don't worry, I have washed this. I'm not, I'm not wearing the same the, the same dirty clothes twice in a row, I have washed it. But I'm currently on my way to the gym for the morning session for day four of training like Harry Kane. I think what I'm gonna do is focus a lot on, um, I guess, legs. And yeah, don't worry if anyone out there, it is COVID safe, they have put stuff in place at the gym. You don't need to wear a mask, um, but what they've got is equipment so that you can wipe down everything after you've worked out. So I'll be doing that um, to make sure it's safe for everyone else to use at the gym too. Time to do the exercises and then we'll have another session in the evening this time because I'll be doing five-a-side yet again. I've been invited again today. But first of all, gym workout. Let's go. I think you only love me because I'm popping. This a layup, this a rebound, then it's me. Like I said, this was a big focus on legs. So I started off with a 10 minute cycle just to get warmed up. Then I moved on to a leg press where I think to be honest with you, the maximum I got up to was about 80 kilos. After the leg press, I did some squats, obviously warming up with just the bar by itself. And then again, like I said before, not trying to make excuses, but um, I think the maximum I got to here as well was about 70 to 80 kg, including the bar. I'm not the most experienced squatter, so I just tried to avoid getting injured. Um, and yeah, this was a bit of a killer for me. Next up was the prone leg curl, which I always find hard not to look awkward when doing this move. But then we move on to the very much standard leg extension. Great for building the thigh muscle. And finally, we move on to some calf raises. All in all, this was pretty tough because I hadn't done legs in a long, long time, but definitely needed if I want to be able to get the power like Kane does every time he shoots. My legs fall like jelly. I ain't done legs in God knows how long. But to be honest with you, it was a struggle during, but after it actually feels good to have it done. But I don't know how these players constantly do legs all the time, man. Don't wonder mine are chicken legs, but that's that done. Heading home now, even in session five aside, I'm buzzing. I'm just hoping that I'm able to stand and not gonna be in a wheelchair by then. But yeah, onto that, let's go. At the five aside place, are my legs still hurting from earlier? 100%. Am I gonna survive this? I don't know yet. So we're gonna kick off in I think in about five minutes time. So let's head on in and hopefully you get to see a bit more gold and hopefully play a bit better now that I've had a bit more practice. So let's get to it. All right, so we're back to some five-a-side. Sorry for the camera angle. I did have it above the goal, but it kept on being knocked down every time we shot. But here, this is a nice little drive-through, got through into the space and nice little finish into the bottom left-hand corner. Starting things off really well here. Now here we're doing a little one-two, accidental one-two with my dad and it just, just clips the post. That would have been a nice little move for me and my dad. But here I pick the ball up in the middle of the pitch and I open up my body and then quickly slot it back to the bottom left as everyone moved to the right side of the goal so it was a nice neat little turn and finish there little one two action here easy bottom corner left foot finish yet again just like last time now what i'm finding a lot today is that i'm finding little spaces in the middle right foot into the bottom left again i seem to be loving the bottom left in today's session but now I'll make a run into the open space and on the half volley jeez that is definitely definitely my best finish of the day i was quite proud of that one now picking up the ball in a very similar area i knew i had a player behind me so a cheeky little back heel to my man who hits it first time into the bottom left and uh, there's the GoPro gone. <laughs> Here, opening up into the space yet again on that left-hand side, find the gap open, and still finding that bottom left-hand corner for my last goal of the session. It is safe to say the quality of the goals were much, much, much better in this session today. Find myself in a lot better spaces. Basically, pretty much always finding that left-hand side of the goal. You know what? That was actually a lot better than I thought it'd be considering the leg exercise earlier. Honestly, my, my legs were totally fine. I think I was a bit knackered during play, but I just think I still really need to build my fitness up so I can just go ham for the whole hour. But yeah, man, I'm gassed that is done. And uh, yeah, on to tomorrow. Let's go. Now on to day five. Now this is technically match day minus one in a professional footballer's time timetable which means it's got to be a lot lighter workout just like it was on day three obviously this whole video is trying to be like harry kane for a week and i may have cheated on this uh on this day five where i actually decided to go play golf with my dad and my two cousins don't get me wrong the workout's tough but you know what i'm just trying to emulate harry kane as much as possible and how can i do that how can i spend a week trying to be like harry kane and not go play golf although saying that i don't think my score is going to be anywhere near as good as harry kane so maybe you can give some pointers on that to me too not just the training okay the big day's arrived it is match day i'm feeling very fresh thanks to harry's you know making the beard looking a little bit clean and on the neck as well but yeah we've got kickoff at about five o'clock we're doing a little 8v8 match with some schoolmates to act as you know the match day couldn't really get a 4-11 aside sadly but this will have to do 
do and it's in central London so a great setting for it but that does mean that we need to have lunch beforehand and we need to go a bit more a bit more carb filled this is what I learned on the day training at Spurs and let's find out what we've got in store for us before the match Probably one of the most elite lunches you can make, but yeah, I think I might have made too much. Either way, we'll power through. I'm gonna munch this down, and then it's time to get to Houston and play the match. Wish me luck. All right, so obviously this is match day now. This is day six, the moment everyone's been waiting for. The big build up, the big moment to the big match. Yeah, we had problems. The pitch was not booked and was actually closed entirely. So we had to go to Regent's Park where we found the football pitches available. So sadly, it's not the actual full experience I would have liked of a match day and what it was like to play as a striker. However, we did play a full 90 minutes. So it was probably just as intense, not quite covering the same ground as I would on a 11 aside so apologies for that next time i do this i'll 100 try and organize a full-on 11 aside and have a proper real test now anyway on to the match and i can't lie i didn't really have that many chances but with this first one coming in from the right hand side the ball over the keeper just about picks it away from me now one of our players just got round the keeper absolute beauty finishes it off easy tapping and i promise you i assisted this one it was off camera but that was definitely my first assist. <laughs> the next chance I had, I obviously picked it up on this left-hand side. Nice little flick through to our winger who then finishes at home. And uh, yeah, you can tell that the first one was my assist because then I started celebrating holding up the two signs so, to show two assists so far in the game. No goals as of yet. Picked up the ball in a similar position again, but this time working around the middle of the pitch and then play another amazing through ball. But unfortunately, the keeper beat our winger to it. Ball played over the top. I pick it up. I try and knock it over the defender, take a touch. And I saw that the goal line was available. So I tried to chip the goalkeeper. But yeah, sadly, technique was not on my side that day. <laughs> Again, picking up the ball on the left-hand side, get a little fluke through, but I find myself in open space in the middle, hit on the right foot, into the bottom left, and finally get my first goal of the game in the first half. Again, ball through over the top, just two defenders with me. I try and hit it first time. I think after my goal, I kind of saw my name in lights, you know? I saw my name in the newspapers. Wonder kid, George Achillea, scores incredible volley, but it was not meant to be, sadly. Final attempt of the first half, and this was a bit hectic. I picked the ball up in the middle, one shot, blocked. Second shot, blocked. Try and go for a third and turn their defender, but unfortunately they got possession and that was the end of the first half. Now into the second half and we didn't have anywhere near as many chances, but we begin with me with the ball on the left hand side, trying to find someone in some space. Tried to use quick feet this time to play a ball through into our midfielder, but he didn't quite get the ball on that occasion. Now back to me in the similar sort of position, tried to play the ball over the defense, but sadly played it a bit too far and didn't reach our other forwards. Now with a chance to drive through the middle, I have the ball first time, first shot, but yeah, very easy save for the goalkeeper. And then the final chance of the game, one step over, tried to find the shot on my left foot again, and this time narrowly went over the post. So yeah, like I said, not much happened in that second half. Throughout the whole game, to be honest with you, the other team dominated the majority of the possession, but believe it or not, we actually managed to win the game 5-0. Four, which I thought was astonishing because yeah we hardly had the ball and that was it that was the end of the match day so I can't lie to you guys what I learned from that is I think I'm definitely more of a creative midfielder than a striker I think I can pick out passes really well I think I've got decent vision however I think my finishing technique is very poor and I would definitely need longer much 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 longer than a week to get anywhere near the level that Kane is but this was a very 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 fun experiment and just to finish off as you can see with a comparison of my body this is my body at the end of the week you're not going to see much difference in one week however what i can say to you guys is that my body actually felt a lot better eating healthily doing a lot of sport pretty much twice a day was huge for my physical and mental health even though it may not look like it but give that maybe a month and you'll start seeing major changes in your body and Definitely technique if I was to keep at these shooting drills. The only thing I was really surprised by is when I stepped on the scales and I seen that I was pretty much the exact same weight. So I think either way, if I wanted to put on weight and gain more muscle, I'd definitely have to eat a lot more protein and consume a lot more than I did this week. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching so much. I realize this isn't obviously 100% accurate to what Harry Kane does, but I did my best given the little knowledge that is available for Harry Kane's regime. But if you guys want me to do more of this, maybe a different player at Spurs, maybe 
trained to be as rapid as Lucas, maybe training to be as technically gifted as Tongi on Dumbale, or even trying to be a good goalkeeper like Lloris. I don't know. Leave your suggestions down below. I'm going to have to give a massive shout out to our sponsor of this video, Harry's. If you want to take advantage of this amazing deal they have for their trial set, please, please, please check the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. It took so much time to create this content for you guys, and I'm really going to look forward to doing more in the future, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.